to deal with sweetage. So this video is particular to some people because not all horses will have this, but sweetage is basically, it's not a disease, it's more of a problem that your horse is just born with, where if it gets bitten by a female midgey, it can get an allergic reaction. Um, the reaction depends on the horse, but I'm gonna be doing this video to show anyone who has a horse with sweetage how to prevent your horse from getting it, um, how, and how to manage it if it does get it, and keep your horse comfortable and not too itchy. So I hope you enjoy. Firstly, what is sweetage? So I'm actually using Magic because he has sweetage, and when I got him, his owner, his previous owner in fairness, told me straight off the bat that he had sweetage, but I had no idea what this was or what it meant. So I thought I'd do a bit of a tutorial just to show you guys um, how to deal with sweetage and what it is so you are prepared for the future or if you're looking at a horse to buy and he has sweetage that it's definitely not a reason not to get it but um, just some things that you'll need to get for your horse or to do for your horse especially during the summer when the midges come out to prevent him from getting sweetage and just to make sure that he's not too uncomfortable so you can actually see that his, he is itching this is because he has sweetage um, so I'll get more into detail about that later. So sweetish is just something that your horse is born with. It's not contagious, he's not going to get it from anywhere, it's just something he has. So it basically means that during the summer when the midges come out, if your horse gets bitten by a female midge and he has sweetish, then he can get an allergic reaction which just makes him a bit itchy and uncomfortable. Um, depending on the horse, it could be more serious, making him very uncomfortable, or it could just be minor, where he just gets a bit itchy. Maggi just gets itchy and a bit uncomfortable. You can see him itching himself there. Um, but if you're looking to buy a horse with sweetage, or your horse just has it, then here are a few ways to prevent him from getting sweetage in the first place, or if he does get it, helping manage it so he doesn't get too itchy or uncomfortable, and just making life easier for you and your horse. So the first option you have is an injection. So this injection will basically prevent your horse from getting sweetage even if he does get bitten. Um, however, the injection also increases the likelihood of your horse getting laminitis, um, which is why I didn't get it as laminitis is a disease I really do not want him to get. And if there were other methods that I could use to help him with sweetage, then I would rather use those than get the injection. So here's some of those other methods. So the next option you have is to get a fly rug and a fly hood. So this is basically a light, breathable kind of summery sheet that you throw on and it covers your horse's whole body and it prevents the midges from getting through to the skin so they can't bite it. Um, you can find these in your local tap sh tack shop or you can order them online. I just find it really effective and so simple. You just have to throw it on and it prevents all the midges. So if you are um, thorough and you put it on for your horse from May till September, basically when the midges come and go, then this can really prevent your horse from getting sweetage at all. Uh, so this is what I use. I actually don't have the rug and hood on him right now because I'm gonna ride him later, so I took it off. But after I've ridden him, I will show you guys a video of what it looks like. Mine is a bit worn and torn because he's been itching it. But yeah, you can just pick one up anywhere and they shouldn't be too expensive. Hi guys, so I've got Magic's fly rug on now. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like and how it straps on and how it helps to prevent the flies from and the midges from getting to skin. So as you can see, it just goes all over his body. Um, plenty of straps. Uh, mine's a bit worn and torn, but um, so I probably have to get a new one, but they're not too expensive, so I'm not too bothered. Um, and yeah, it just pretty much protects him from all the flies and um, just makes life a lot easier for him. Um, usually he does have his fly hood on, but that's just getting a wash right now. So I don't have it on, that's why. But um, usually they'll come as a set, you get a fly hood and the rug. And generally I don't find them too expensive, you can get them in your local tax shop or you can get them online as with most things. And you can put a bit of fly spray underneath just for extra protection, but if you're not going to get the injection, that's the kind of thing that you will need for your horse. For. I then use fly spray for when I'm riding him, so obviously I can't wear the rug and the hood when I'm out riding, so I've got two different types of fly sprays. I've got um, 
just a normal one that you can spray on as many times as you like and then an extra strength which you can only spray three times because it's so strong uh, so if your horse is sweetage even if it doesn't have sweetage i would recommend getting some of these just so that your horse isn't constantly bothered by the flies uh, you can even spray it on yourself too just to keep them away and this just helps when i can't wear the rope when i'm riding him just it keeps it helps keeps the midges and the flies away and again it can be found in your local tap, tack shop or found online so another one i've heard which sounds kind of strange i haven't tried this but i probably will um is to use garlic because apparently midges and flies don't like garlic for whatever reason so apparently you can just squeeze some crushed garlic into their feed and mix it up or you can buy like a garlic lick from lick it or whatever um, and apparently it will help keep it away so i will try this and get back to you on whether i find it works or not but um anything i will i'll try anything to help um, him get nice and comfortable and keep the flies away from him so I'm sure there are other methods or ways to help with your horse and its sweetage, but these are the ones that I know and the ones that I use, so I hope they were useful. Um, if you are looking to buy a horse or you have one that has sweetage, it is definitely not a reason not to buy a horse. I've only been introduced to it within the last year, so I'm not an expert, but it's just a little bit of extra work and a few other pieces of equipment that you need to buy. So it's really not that expensive or anything, or it's not that hard labor um, but and the symptoms only really last from May to September when the midges come and when they leave as that's when they're affected and the only long-lasting symptoms are just that he can rub out his tail and his mane a bit which just results in a bit of a patchy mane and tail but they do need to itch and there's nothing you can do about it if your horse does get sweated just to make it a little more comfortable so I hope that these methods did help you um, and that this short little video helped with sweet itch. Can you stop licking the chair? Creep. Don't bite the bucket. Okay. Maybe. Or something. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe and comment down below for new ideas for a video or vlog. And if you want more information on sweet itch, go check out one of our previous videos, 10 common horse disease that you need to know for more information on what sweetage is and kind of sciencey stuff and why the reaction is caused. But um, again, if you like this, please consider subscribing and we'll see you next week.